First up on this list, most guys cannot ignore the insult. They can't not take it personally. Seriously, you don't even know this person, but you can't ignore their opinion even though it doesn't matter. And because these guys can't just walk away, this is preventing them from becoming a high value man. When you let the opinions of random people on the web or maybe someone that's close to you that doesn't know what they're talking about affect you, you become reactionary. And a man that reacts to every slight does not control his emotions, can't control himself. Gents, a high value man doesn't take the opinions of others personally. High value men understand their opinions. They're a reflection of how somebody perceives the world. Seriously, just read the comment section in any controversial video on YouTube. You see people watch the same exact video, but their perception of what just happened totally different. So the question is, are you willing to do what it takes to become a high value man? And what are the characteristics of a man that is confident in himself? Find out the answer in today's video. <laughs> what can I say? I love our intro. Next up on our list of things stopping most men from becoming a high value man, they won't accept responsibility for where they're at in their life, for what happens in their life. The reality is a lot of people want to play the victim card. Why? It's easy to be able to blame it on your circumstances. And I get it. Some people are born into families that don't have much. You're born in a country where there's limited opportunity. You're born with a disability. If you were to lump everyone's in the world's problems in one pile and we were all to take an equal share, I think the vast majority of people would say, you know what? I'll just take my problems and move on. Here's the thing is when you blame others, when you blame society, yes, I get it that our culture is really saying, you know, it's not your fault. Here's the thing. When you give that away, all of a sudden you lose the power to make the change because if you can't control it, then you can't do anything about it. But if you accept responsibility for where things are at in your life, you know, you know what? You can go in and change that. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy, but you could improve your lot in life. And it's not about getting to the top. It's about looking at what you start off with and what you're able to do with what you have. The next habit holding back a lot of guys from becoming high value men, they won't admit that they need help. I mean, seriously, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to ask anyone for anything. But here's the thing. We are social animals living in a society that we depend on each other. And it is so key if you're going to have success that you find ways to not only give help, but also receive it and not be ashamed of this. And a form of help that a lot of guys avoid like the plague, professional therapy. There are so many of us that have issues inside that we are keeping bottled up, that we aren't being open. We aren't communicating. We aren't talking about with anybody. And gents, that's not a good thing to be the tough guy that never opens up, never cries. That's a recipe for disaster. That's a volcano waiting to explode. And that's why gents, I'm proud to bring in today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Their goal is to help anyone who struggles with life's challenges to be able to get help anywhere, anytime. And without exception, everyone on that platform is licensed, trained, and experienced and accredited psychologists, therapists, clinical social workers. And just so you guys know, I signed up for BetterHelp. I am using the service and I love it. It was so easy to sign up. Just took a bit of my, you know, information that they need. And they went through, asked a lot of questions about, you know, what am I looking for? What are my goals? What are my expectations? They asked about a number of things in my life. I thought really great questions. And this set me up for when I met my therapist. She was there. She was prepared. Actually, within 48 hours, all of a sudden, boom, I'm on a video call with a licensed therapist going and talking about my issues. Now, based off your questionnaire, they're going to do their best to match you very quickly with a licensed professional. But if you find, hey, you know what? After that first meeting, it was really nice. When I was talking with my therapist, she was like, you know, if there's not a good fit here, no hard feelings, you can go and request somebody else. I actually like the person I was with, but you know, that was really cool. And the cost, it's going to cost a lot less doing this than it would if you were to go in person or do it on your own. That being said, they've got a financial aid option. And what I really like is if you want to jump on every single week, do a video call with your therapist, you can do that. You can do just a phone call. They've got that set up as well. If you have questions, you want to just simply message your therapist. Well, I messaged mine, tested this out. Yeah, she responded very quickly. Good professional responses. Again, all these messages went through their secure website. Privacy was key. And the service is available worldwide and they've got over 20,000 therapists. So to get started, gents, and to make sure you get the best deal on the web, go over to betterhelp.com 
dot com slash real men real style by using that link you're going to get 10 percent off the best deal right now on the web so use it or lose it an awesome company great deal again gents to get the best deal on the web use that link in the description go over to betterhelp.com that's b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com slash real men real style the next thing most guys won't do to become a high value man embrace discomfort in the Marine Corps, we call this learning to love the suck because you're going to be out there on a four day field exercise. And at the very beginning, you've got some sadistic person that thinks, you know what? Let's make this fun because we're going to be getting into the mud. We're talking three feet of this muddy, watery, nasty stuff that's freezing cold and night is coming up. But you know what? Yeah, we're going to get into this because we've got to be able to traverse through this swamp and it sucks. And you can either say this sucks and it's going to suck for the next four days. Or you can say, you know what? This sucks. Can you make it worse? And all of a sudden you find that, you know, the, the instructor that thought he was doing something, all of a sudden he's a bit disheartened because you're showing that is this all you got? Come on, you are not going to break me. This is something that Navy SEALs understand. Anyone that, you know, PJs, anyone that's gone through extensive training, understand it's all about the mind. The body is capable of doing amazing things things. How does this apply to you? Because at 5 a.m. when that alarm goes off and you need to hit the gym, you want to go exercise, go for that run. You're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to get an extra 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour of sleep is what it turns into. No, you're going to say, okay, I didn't get as much sleep as I want, but I'm awake and I committed to going out and running that three miles. I committed to hitting the gym and going in and throwing those weights around so that I can get in better shape. Guys, when you learn to embrace the suck, you have the strength to power right through to success. The next thing most guys don't do, but high value men find time to do is to define what they're going to live by their code. And this for a lot of people, you know, you find it maybe in your religion, you find it maybe in an organization you're a part of. I've talked about honor, courage, commitment, the core values of the Navy and the United States Marine Corps. But I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments. What is your honor code? What is it that you live by? And guys, again, I'm giving away a few of these coins. So beautiful, huh? Just let me know in the comments below, what is the hill that you're willing to die on? These are the things that you stand for. You've thought through them. These are your words that you live by. And that takes me to the second part. High value men don't just put those codes out there. They actually follow through. They're impeccable with their word. They live up to it. Yes, they may fall down. They may fail. They may not always live up to it, but they accept, hey, responsibility that I didn't live up to this. If they need be, they apologize to those that they hurt, to those that they let down, and they pick it back up and they try again to live up to that. But be impeccable with your word. When you say you're going to do something, do it. And gents, if you enjoy videos like this, how about feeding the YouTube algorithm by smashing that like button? Seriously, when you engage with these videos, more men find them. And I think this is a pretty darn good video. So yeah, smash that like button. The next thing that most guys won't do, but high value men have the courage to face is to kill the sacred cows. What am I talking about? A belief that is so strong, maybe ingrained. It was part of your tribe when you were growing up that you don't question it. But all of a sudden, you're forced to if you want to make a leap in life. Financially, this I know affected me. I grew up in a trailer park and everyone worked hourly jobs. And it wasn't until I went to business school, I started making friends with people that were making six figures, over a hundred thousand a year. I couldn't, how in the world do you get paid that? And for years, all of a sudden I was opened up to the world of consulting, the world of these white collar jobs. And I was looking at this and then all of a sudden I, I realized I wanted more. And I looked at how can you make seven figures? How can you make, how can you make $10 million and not steal this money from a bank? Well, starting a business investing, maybe taking risk with the capital that you have. All of a sudden, you start slaying those sacred cows of, and saving is so important. One of the bedrocks of building up wealth, but so is putting your money to work, understanding that you can leverage the power of a business. My point here is we're talking about money is it's all about mindset. I know that sounds so woo woo. 10 years ago, I would have been, that's a bunch of BS. But all of a sudden you start meeting people that are making very healthy livings. They're not stealing from anyone. They're providing a lot of value to society. And you're like, wait a minute, what is the difference? That person isn't that much smarter than me. They are actually younger than me. How were they able to do this? Because you slay that sacred cow, those beliefs, your view of the world and 
and how to make a fortune, how to be able to build yourself up. And it's not always about money. It's about, hey, if you can live off of and you're very happy with a very simple existence, then all the more power to you. But I think for a lot of us, we want to be able to have the wealth, to be able to have the freedom to do what we want. Another thing I've noticed about high value men is that they value relationships. They're always building new relationships with people who are bringing enlightenment into their lives and they are maintaining close relationships with people that they've known for years who bring a lot of value just simply because of the memories and people that they respect. But they're also cutting off people that have become toxic. They realize, yes, that is family, but I've got to maintain an arm's length because that person drives me nuts. That person comes in and does damage to the relationships I've got with my, with my partner and they realize, okay, it's about maintaining and building and improving those relationships. So many of us guys, we forget about the power of relationship, but you cannot neglect, you can't forget that we are social animals and that you need to have a great network, a great group of people around you. The next trap a lot of guys fall into that high value men avoid when it comes to relationships, they have standards high standards. They understand the person they're going to build their life with. This person needs to meet those standards because if they fall below it, you are going to be unhappy. You know that things, there are going to be issues in life. We run into somebody, she's beautiful, or we think she's good enough. At the bar, after a few drinks, she's beautiful. We take home that wife for the night. Think about, there are a lot of things, a lot of risks that go with that. I have to give a shout out to my nephew, Cole. I was talking with him about girls and the guy has his pick and part of it is because he's got his standards. He's like, most of these girls, they're thirsty. He's got his goals, his objectives. He is now a firefighter, but for three years, he's working his butt off, going to school, doing all types of training, fighting those fires out in California, doing the wildfire stuff. But he always had standards of what he expects with his body, what he expects in relationships. And for him, it's like, hey, I can put this off. I know where I'm going and I've got my standards. Seriously, gents, anyone that you want to partner with to have a lifelong relationship, this is going to be the most important relationship in your life. Have your standards and don't go below them. All right, gents, so what video to watch next? How about how to organize and reset your life? Sometimes, yeah, you just want to hit that reset button. You want to start things over. Guys, I talk about it in this video right here. Really a great one, especially if you've fallen off yeah, the wagon when it comes to your New Year's resolutions. I've got you covered in this video right here.